one of the common questions where people ask me so ask me is that how to meditate these are for the beginners they usually ask me how to meditate ma how to meditate i have no patience i have no time i i can't even sit down for 5 minutes it's like i feel that's like too much on me i start getting a headache etc 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 first thing you need to do is that accept that you have no patience and accept that you cannot sit in one place and meditate and accept that you're having so many thoughts coming in and you and accept that you're so agitated within you that you're not able to meditate the first step is to accept it yes this is what is happening within me okay now what can i do so why are you so agitated inside that means like i mean i say agitated it means like a rough scene that's what i um, think when uh, something somebody says that i'm so agitated i see that they are the rough scene so when the sea is very rough can we go fishing now the sea is rough we can't go fishing we just have to wait till it settles down so before even trying to meditate you should actually start seeing what is that making you so agitated inside so restless inside i usually suggest people suggest my friends to write down what they feel exactly about themselves right now i i myself do it now too i do it i even now i i, I practice that i keep it as my biggest um, checkmate to see where am i i believe that i need to know where am i so i start pouring out myself in a book or a notebook or a, or my notepad whatever it is that with whatever suits me at that point or i write like a poem so to see that how my poem is reflecting about my inner self so again you can write whatever whatever suits you, you can you can choose but i think writing down penning down what do you feel really helps because sometimes uh, we might feel little crappy like like my boyfriend is not looking at me my husband is so busy with this life that he has no time for me and i feel left out i feel lonely and then i start imagining maybe he's not interested in me maybe my marriage is over or on other side my work is too stressful i'm not able to manage it i'm not able to cope up with it and etc 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 we all get carried away in this worldly life in this material life we set our standards too high and we try to compete with that So anyway, you know, like even a child is setting the uh, yeah, his uh, the standards too high for them to compete. So the, this, I think, in the the word should be which should be removed from the dictionary should be competition. This competition has become a biggest mind matrix. Write on whatever you feel like about you, however you feel inside, and however hurt you yourself, however hurt you feel, however hurt you let others to hurt you. most of the time we let others to hurt us because we feel somewhere that we are not good enough you know what i don't feel good about by myself i don't feel that good and we take others judgment and we start ruling ourselves it's a i i really wish that a magic happens this whole thing is reset and we are all we don't have to deal with it at all But anyway, we are dealing it with because to know about ourselves more. So all this agitation, all this rough sea, and everything is happening because somewhere this universe wants you to get done, and get fed up with this material existence, and start looking for peace. prosperity I mean, prosperity within you and i'm not talking about the worldly prosperity i'm talking about the abundance of love abundance of uh, blessings from within i mean i say within it means i believe and that is the truth that the whole journey of spirituality is just going within you and seeing you from within you're letting your lotus from within to blossom that is spirituality and most of the gurus and most of the masters are also saying the same thing so a person who is really 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 agitated cannot meditate but he can cry don't be ashamed to cry don't be ashamed to cry for yourself 
Cry out loud. Crying is a beautiful tool of letting your anger out, your emotions out, whatever it is. You don't have to one doesn't have to be shy about crying. I cry a lot. When I'm happy I cry. When I'm sad I cry. Because for me it's like I'm getting it done. I'm 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 surfacing an emotion. I'm looking at the emotion within and if it hurts me, it hurts me. That's it. Done. Yes, it hurts me. So I go through that, I go through the process of feeling hurt and I let it out and and I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm surfacing, I'm surfacing. So see what's bothering you inside and surface it and write it down. And one fine day you can, when you're done writing everything, read again after maybe one or, week, one or two weeks time. And then you'll have a clarity because once we surface the emotions and we write it down, our mind knows. See, all this confusion is created by our mind. Remember that. Our mind is knowing, oh, she's realizing what's bothering her. She's going to let it out. And that goes away. One should try this and see. And if anybody needs help with uh, how to meditate and etc. etc. And they want to, uh, they're feeling crap inside and they're feeling so hurt inside. They're feeling so bottled up inside. Anybody can reach me out. They can definitely drop a comment and there is my, I will definitely post my email address. They can email, you can email me and they can reach me on Facebook. My Facebook ID is Nila Anandan. Just Google that, it will come and you can, most of the time I reply to them in a couple of hours. And or just meditate and synchronize and we will definitely get in touch. There are simple tools for agitated mind who cannot meditate is that follow a beautiful song there is Atma Shatakam on YouTube there is Shivoham on YouTube or people who feel that that is all too spiritual that is all too um, Hinduism or too Christianity or whatever it is just select a nice instrumental music and listen to them and before going to bed just listen to them and go to bed that's a form of meditation too at least you'll be calm or listen to the favorite song which you love which makes you happy. Listen to anything which makes you happy. As you keep doing that, you will settle down once. You will. This, the sea which is rough will settle down, become calm. And at that point, you can just start sitting and breathing in, breathing out, focus on your breathing and do a meditation or listen to the music and just miss and, uh, let all your thoughts flow through. Let it out, let it out. Don't hang on to a thought, just let the thought go free. If you can do that, that is meditation and if you feel that you're not able to hold let out a thought no problem hold to it as long as you want to hold to it and don't feel guilty about it the more you keep writing down the more you keep letting it out in your book and whenever you're ready I tell my my lovely sons and daughters to burn the paper so that it's burnt and done and it's gone out of the system this real this is a very small technique which most of the life coaches and most of the spiritual workers and uh, psychiatrists do this technique so it's not that so like so unique it's the normal technique you can just opt for that or you can just go start talking to the trees to the birds the whole lot of world around us there's a beautiful nature around us start talking to them start communicating with them that is also a form of meditation. The goal of meditation is nothing but making your life in a meditative state. A meditative state is nothing but having peace within and peace outside and having full focus and full consciousness all the time. That's it. So if you are going to, um, uh, if you want to have focus in your work, that's a form of meditation too. So don't take it too serious. But meditation is really nice, it really settles down your body and it settles down your energy level and it feels uh, more good about you. This is just a starting, I just want to clear out the myth about meditation. So this video is for mainly for that and to know more about meditation, more about uh, other things, what to do and how to uh, have peace within. Please watch my videos further and please subscribe to my channel and please definitely drop a comment and I'm happy to share my views about and views and actually not views, actually how I feel about 
meditation or whatever I feel from within. I'm so happy. Thanks for watching my video. Love you all.